What's up, everybody? My name is Vincent. Welcome to Cryptolution, where we talk about everything under the moon, the crypto universe. Today is Wednesday, August 30th. In today's video, we're going to be doing another update regarding D God Season 3 and, most importantly, Ute Season 2. What could we look forward to with both of these collections? What are they developing right now? Why is this one of the best times to be accumulating at these prices? Now, with that said, keep in mind that this is not financial advice, just just my own opinion, just for your own entertainment. So please do your own due diligence before investing in any of these projects. Now, with that said, be sure to like the button, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to join our Patreon page. And most importantly, please be careful with any of the scammers down in the comments below. I will never reach out via WhatsApp, Telegram, direct message, or email so please be careful and invest safely so guys and girls let's get right into it right now d god's on open is hovering around a 4.69 ethereum floor price so if we look at the lowest cost of this nft we can see that's around seven thousand nine hundred dollars now you always have to keep in mind around the point system which i'm going to bring up in just a little bit because points do absolutely matter and as you can see on open some of the nfts that are the cheapest have very little points and i will share why that is now if we go over to blur we can see that blur these d god nfts are at a low floor price around 4.34 again a lot more activity on blur the fees are very cheap on here and also the more trades that you do on blur the more potential that you're going to be airdrop blur tokens in the third airdrop now let's keep in mind let's talk about the point system now the reason i talk about the point system is because when we look at these nfts like say for instance this one is a season two nft you pretty much want a season three nft because if you get a season three nft you'll be able to participate in the points parlor but as you can see from this nft which only has 10,000 points it's because most likely people who spend all their points on the points parlor tend to just liquidate their position so what i've noticed is if this is too confusing for you to understand is say for instance if i've downgraded my nft of a season two to a season three and then i'm able to participate in the points parlor then what i would be doing is i would spend all those points to see if i can earn any rewards and then later on i could just dump that specific season three art nft for the floor price which is around 4.34 but again there are some top bids around 4.25 so people tend to spend all those points and then liquidate that nft and that's why you're seeing right now 4.25 is not even a bad entry right now but still still with that said people are still accumulating these nfts even with the low point system like say for instance this one just sold for around 4.4 ethereum on blur but only had around 5,000 points so people are buying this dip regardless they don't care about the point system they just want to have exposure to these d god nfts now what's going on with the statistics around the points parlor because that's the really more important thing so right now over the past 14 days we've seen an increase of daily active d gods jump from 4200 unique owners or nfts of t's to around 5400 now the, the points that are being spent per day have actually decreased by almost like 50 percent but nonetheless the amount of prizes won within that certain amount of people have jumped up over 77 percent as you can see here now the top prizes that have been won thus far have been a couple macbooks some gift cards some louis vuitton wallets and more now let's go ahead and look into some other statistics right because we have to see how many packs have been open roughly around 423 million packs have been open to date as of August 28th. Now, over the prizes that have been won, over 542 actual prizes have been won. These are not just the dust tokens, but these are actual prizes. And in terms of the average amount of points that were spent per DGA, it's around 77,000. So we haven't seen a lot of people spend over 100,000, which is really good. Now, let's go ahead and look into the rewards. Again, we talked about Apple products. Say, for instance, we have Cramrog, who won an Apple Watch Series 8. Then we also have this person, Jurgen, who won an AirPods third generation airpods so these are the headphones that you can get from just literally spending your points that you don't have to spend money on just the points that you earn to stake you can just get something for free from here next up we also have this person ansel who won a home pod mini how crazy is this that we're seeing all this being won based on the different sponsorships that have been participating because again a lot of different sponsors have been participating in the sponsorship because it garners more awareness through their product so this was bought by decent which is also another trading platform that allows people to swap their tokens which is the dust token from ethereum solana and polygon because a lot of people have been wondering how do i buy a dust token to fit into all these different blockchains well decent is absolutely one of those avenues to participate in now in other news we've seen other people win these prizes and basically when you are selected to win a prize it does this kind of like slot machine thing that goes into what 
prize you will win and this person won an air tag out of those different winnings so that just gives you an experience of what it's like to participate and how you can actually win these different prizes and different scales now next up we also have the points parlor average daily packs now a lot of people have been wondering like how can i actually win these packs what strategy should i use how many points should i be spending so a lot of people have been using the three by three by three rule, which means that there are three different cards, A, B, and C. And this goes and solidifies everything that we've talked about on our channel, which is basically for each card for A, B, and C, you would just pull three draws, not four, not two, but basically that's what people have been using that formula based on their three, three, three rule, if that makes any sense. Now that's everything regarding D gods. I think in this video, I wanna share more about what's going on with Utes, because again, Utes I think is one of the most undervalued assets as the floor sits around literally underneath one Ethereum. So so again, this is one of the best dollar cost entry points or the best entry into this ecosystem within the D-Labs community. And Utes right now has a lot of things going under its belt that's under the scenes. Like this is a full of content creators and also people who just want to garner more awareness, but also want to build their IP. So let's go ahead and talk about the cheapest NFT right now. This one has around a 0.99 Ethereum floor price, around roughly 1,695 US dollars. Again, a good amount of points for these NFTs because again, the these points haven't been used yet and we've talked about that on our channel now let's go ahead and talk about the actual analytics because right now we did see an increase from around literally 0.63 to 0.75 ethereum all the way up to its new support level of around one ethereum now you can see that right now there have been many sales over the past few minutes and again people are buying these not as often as compared to d gods which is in the minutes but within uh, Utes on Polygon, we're seeing more active daily sales within this collection, even though it's very difficult to buy these things because there's a bit of a learning curve. Now, if we look to what's developing within the Polygon chain, we can see that Utes right now is ranked number four in terms of the total volume transactions within all of NFT collections within Polygon. Now, again, I think Utes right now is undervalued. Yes, it hasn't garnered that much like actual trading volume, but it's because people don't really understand how to buy the NFT in wrapped Ethereum. Many of these other different projects are sold in Matic tokens, which is much easier. But with Utes, it's sold within Ethereum, which is good because it's priced in Ethereum. So once this migrates over to Ethereum, which the date hasn't been announced yet, I can expect that the one Ethereum floor price won't be there for too long because again, more Ethereum heads have more liquidity and they'll be buying more. Now let's talk about the overall sales that we've seen already. How many people have bought over the floor price above the one Ethereum floor price and have scored some great grails well this is a great grail this one is a mick utes shirt with these amazing devil horns and again a clean version red on red on red colors for only 1.4 ethereum then we also have this one a hazmat suit and these amazing glasses and the hat 1.17 ethereum let's get into more juicier ones we had some nouns sell so these are noun glasses these are high price trait nfts this one sold for 2.68 ethereum again these used to be above five ethereum before the season three artwork of d gods revealed and we also have this noun that sold for 2.78 again another great steal in my opinion then we also had some people swap different nouns from each other so we had two different users swap two different nfts with noun glasses that just goes to show like these nouns are priced in noun pricing if that makes any sense and also we look at the nft inspect meaning how many pfps have been changed to Utes, we can see that you, the unique count of PFPs have increased over the past 24 hours. And we've seen that Utes has now become number one in terms of NFT inspect. How crazy is that? That means the community is growing it and has even flipped Beans and Nakamigos in that result. Now, in other news, this was shared a long time ago, back on April 17th of 2023. That sounds like a long time ago, but really it's not too long ago. So just a few months ago, Frank said this, Utes season two will be Johnny D gods who's the artist of Utes it will be his masterpiece so right now we do know that season two artwork is going to be changed we just don't know what that's going to look like but it's going to look a lot different compared to the season one artwork that we're seeing right now and this is why we have to talk about the IP rights regarding Utes because again IP is a huge thing within this nft collection ip stands for intellectual property so what does that mean so basically when you buy one of these nfts you can create it as your pfp so it's your profile for picture and then one over the years or even months that you use to build content on your twitter page or on your youtube page your tiktok page 
once you build that IP, is basically saying that once you create content using that image, you're building the IP, you're building the intellectual property. So later on down the road, once you decide you're gonna sell the IP or sell that NFT, that means that whoever is willing to buy it from you be is basically buying everything that you've built within that image. So if I have a YouTube channel, say for instance, or a Twitter channel, and I use this specific UPFP, uh, to build that awareness, people are recognizing my PFP because of the content creation that I have. And so later on, once people are well known of my name or of my image of my PFP or my Ute, then say for instance, if I decide to sell it, that means it's more valuable than what it was originally uh, bought for. So that's how you build your IP for that collection. So with that said, I decided to ask people, you know, what should I represent? Should I represent a D God NFT or a Ute NFT as my PFP? And out of the 133 people that voted, 61% of you said, yes to utes. So that is exactly what I did. I decided to change my PFP into a ute and the response from the community has been huge. And in other news, I want to share some other things. So I don't know if you guys know, but Kraken NFT has what they call a rear wing takeover. So that basically means that right now they're having a competition. There are basically 20 people selected and out of the 20 people, there's only going to be six people that are going to be on the rear wing of a Formula One car, which is going to be the Williams racing car. And right now, out of the top six, we only see one D God and one Ute. Now, what we need to do is have the D God and Ute in the top four. Why? because there will be two of the four that are gonna be selected by the drivers. So we can't rely on Alex Albon or Logan Sargent to choose those NFTs. We have to secure our spot in the top four because the top four will be guaranteed that spot. So be sure to like and subscribe and also vote for them if you can on Kraken NFT on their Twitter page if you can. And the last thing I wanna share with everybody is that today at around 5 p.m. and 6 p.m. Pacific time, there's going to be an orientation via the Discord page. Basically, this orientation is going to allow people to understand how they can basically contribute to this community. You get to meet the founders, you get to meet the creators, and you get to meet fellow holders and content creators within both of those communities. And you get to find out how you can participate in this and you can also grow this community together. So D Guys is going to be at 5 p.m. Pacific time and Utes at 6 p.m. Pacific time. So with that said, let's go ahead and conclude the video. How do you feel about D Gods? Right now, the floor price is around 4.69 Ethereum. People are accumulating these NFTs regardless of the amount of points that are left on those nfts and i think that right now the nft bull market when it does come these nfts will be valued past its all-time high price around 10 ethereum we could see all-time high prices even further than that but let's also talk about you how do you feel about the ip the unique profile for picture counts that are increasing on nft inspect and also regarding the season two artwork where i cannot wait to hear all those comments down below on both youtube and twitter and i cannot wait to read them so with that said be sure to smash the like button subscribe to the channel don't forget to join our patreon page to receive all of our alpha calls and buy and sell orders on both nfts and cryptocurrencies until then see you guys and girls next time